Hello, my name is Jolly Carnes, and this is an introduction to Flash Array File Services. In this introduction, we will cover the array dashboard integration, file system creation, managed directory creation, using export policies, and snapshot policy management. First, let's look at the array dashboard integration. Flash Array File Service was designed to be fully integrated into the Flash Array GUI. Here on the dashboard, we can see array-wide metrics. We can also select block volume performance metrics, file system performance metrics, or see both metrics side by side. This allows you to quickly see the performance of the array and the workload live. Next, let's look at file system creation. Pure Storage has removed all the complexity of dealing with underlying block volumes or file pulls. Now creating a file system is as easy as clicking a single plus button underneath the storage and file system tab. Once you've clicked the plus button, a pop-up will pop up. You'll enter the name of your file system and click create. Once your file systems are created, you can look at the details by clicking on a file system's name. And in here you can see how many different directories you have created. Next, let's go over managed directory creation. Managed directories are folders within file systems that are created by storage administrators. These folders act as anchor points to allow storage administrators to apply various configurations such as export, shares, and snapshots. Creating managed directories is just as easy as creating file systems. You simply go to this directory section of the tab, you click the plus button, next to the directories to create a new directory. Select your file system, give it a management name, give it a directory name for the folder, and click Create. By accessing Directory Details tab, you can access management to directory exports, directory snapshots, and also see information about your directory. Next, let's go over using export policies. Export policies are templates of configurations for shares and exports that you want to apply to your managed directories, allowing you to share data out to your end users. To create new export policies, we can navigate to the Storage and Policies tab, and then in the Export Policies, we can click Plus. Here we can choose two different types, NFS or SMB. Let's go ahead and create an NFS policy. We'll call it Demo NFS and click Create. We can go back and we can create another policy. We'll choose SMB this time, and we'll call it Demo SMB. Now that we have some policy created, we can open up the details page of the policy by clicking on its name. Here we're able to add configuration rules and attach this to some managed directories. Let's go ahead and create our first rule by clicking on the plus button here. This will give us a pop-up that has a read-write access list that we can set for our NFS export. We can also select to have root squash or no root squash. We'll go ahead and click no root squash and click add to add our rule. Now that we have our first rule, we can go ahead and attach this to one of our directories within our file system. So we'll go ahead and click on the plus there, select the directory we'd like to attach to, and then we can go ahead and give this an export name that the clients will see. Let's repeat this process with our SMB policy. We'll go ahead and add our first rule. Here we again we have our read-write access list. We can select anonymous access to be enabled or disabled, and SMB encryption to be forced or optional. Let's go ahead and leave it as default, and we'll click Add to add our first rule. Again, we can go ahead and attach this to one or more directories. Um, we can go to the same directory we have NFS off. In this case, we'll do the same thing. We'll give a share name to be presented and hit Create. Clients now have access to our demo directory by SMB and NFS. Lastly, let's look at snapshot policy management. Snapshot policies allow you to set up schedules and retention periods for snapshots of managed directories. By going to Protection and Policies and clicking on the plus button, we're able to add a new policy for snapshots. We can simply enter our name and click Create. Once you have a snapshot policy created, you can access its details by clicking on its name. Here we'll need to add some rules to our snapshot policy. Let's go ahead and add a rule for our daily snapshot. We'll take a snapshot every day at 5 p.m. We'll go ahead and keep those snapshots for seven days We'll give it a client name of daily. This is what the clients will see when they access the dot snapshot directory. Click add, now we'll add our rule. We can also add multiple rules. So let's go ahead and add another for a weekly snapshot. We'll take this every week. 
We'll keep it for four weeks. And we'll call the client name weekly. Again, we'll click Add. Now we have two roles. Let's go ahead and attach this to a couple directories. Simply click on the three dots. We select the directories we like to attach to. We click Add. 